What's up, YouTube? This your man, Big Beef Dunks 100. I got an awesome video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I'll be showing you guys how you can take a basic image inside Lightroom 4, turn it into black and white, throw a little bit of clarity into it to get a basic HDR effect with it, and throw in some splash, a little bit of color. So let's begin. First thing you want to do is you want to start by opening up your Lightroom 4. Once you have your Lightroom 4 open with your photo inside, you're ready to begin. So it's very simple and quick. So I'm going to make this pretty quick for you and simple. You just want to come over to the left hand side. First, you want to make sure that you're under develop mode. Once you're under develop mode, you just want to scroll down to where it says HSL. Now you want to turn your saturation all the way down to a negative 100. And as you see, as we take it down to a negative 100, the color just fades away and goes into black and white. So now that we have our basic black and white effect here, we can close this down. Now you want to go up to your brush. Uh, for your brush, you know what, you can just basically, um, I guess you can leave that as is, or you can set it to clarity or whatever. We'll just put it on clarity for right now. But what you want to mainly focus on, you want to focus on right here where it says saturation. Now that will be at zero. So let's just crank that up all the way to 100. Once we have that done, we're ready to begin. So now you can just basically paint in the colors that you want. So I'm just going to go through this kind of quick here. You basically get the point. So we're going to just throw some color in. I know you guys are looking right now like, wow, that's sloppy, but we're just going to make a quick video. It's a couple of people I know that's been doing this, but they was doing it inside Photoshop. So I figured, you know, why not make a video on it and throw it up on YouTube to basically show you guys how you can do this inside Lightroom 4 because see it's a lot of people that don't know that you can do this so we're just gonna bring in some color over here and maybe down here another cool thing is what you can do is you can click on done but once you're done you can come over here to your cycles and you can switch that on just to see a before and after shot and if you open your brush back up, you'll see here that you can still paint in more colors. So not only you can bring in colors on this layer over here that you're working on, which is the after, but you can still see the before shot over here so that you can basically see which colors that you would like to bring in. So let's just say if you didn't remember what color this car was right here, you can look over here at the before shot and say, okay, that car was blue. I guess I'll bring that car in as well. So we're just going to bring that in. That's not really blue. That's like a grayish color, but we're just going to bring that in as well. Okay. Once we have done that, let's just say if we was done with this image, we can click on done. Now we have our before on the left and after on the right. Okay, we can close that down for right now. Just focus on the after. Now what we want to do is throw in some basic clarity. So we're just going to crank that up. Not too much. About right there. So that's looking good. I guess we can do something with the contrast. Maybe boost that up a little bit. Give it like a little grunge effect or whatever. And uh, I guess the highlights, we can crank that down a little bit. And that's basic pretty much it. That is how you can do a basic black and white photo, throwing a little bit of color splash, give it a little clarity. And maybe if you want to do some further editing inside Photoshop or HDRFX Pro, whichever application you prefer to use, you can. This is your man, Big B Productions 100. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys liked the video, which I hope you did. Holla at you.